level. You say you're, you're fighting, you're racing, but as much as it's about overtaking each other, you've got to be able to defend as well. Where's the where's the line? Where's the limit? Well, I, I think from the inside is pretty clear. Um, from the inside of the car, so I think you need to give. You can defend hard, you can race hard, attack hard. All fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, some people race different than others. Fine. But I think you need always to give the people room and not do something silly. Now, if you guess, refer to my situation with Daniel, then I don't feel I've done something silly. I don't feel, uh, you know, it was dangerous. I think I gave him enough room. Yes, it was tough. I said it straight away after as well, but uh, I don't think uh, I did anything that's not allowed. You, you've been quite vocal this season about the way in which Max has defended and it got this clarification in, in Austin. Do you find it slightly ironic, therefore, that you were the first person to get a penalty for, for defending like that? Well, I don't think I defended like that. That's, that's my whole point. Obviously, uh, what we're saying is the moving under braking. Now, I don't want to go into detail because can't be asked. But uh, uh, I think I kept the car straight. Uh, and uh, as I said, gave the ca gave uh, the car gave Daniel enough room. Uh, obviously, Mexico is known that it's very slippery. Just listen to what the driver said on Friday. Nothing changes offline for Sunday. He was on the very inside of the track, so naturally there was no grip. I think we were lucky to continue, to be honest, because he slightly crashed into me, and we both could uh, could continue. We've heard a lot from you this season over the radio. I know you got P, I'm sorry. Um, we've heard a lot from you on the radio this, this season. I don't want to talk specifically about Mexico, but is it the fact that FOM are just broadcasting more of your messages or is it reflective of the frustration that you're feeling at Ferrari this year that we're hearing you so vocal and so, so, so passionate? I don't think it has anything to do with frustration. Pretty much the opposite. You know, I'm here to race and uh, that's, that's what I care for. And as I said, it was a great race and I saw the podium. So, you know, I had, I was full of adrenaline the whole race, trying to really get to the maximum. And I think we, as I said, had a good, a good one. So, uh, you know, when I opened the radio, I speak to my team. Obviously what I said to Charlie was inappropriate and not right. I apologize for that. But in general, you know, I'm not sending a message to the world. I'm not that type of guy. So I'm speaking to, you know, the people uh, around me but sure, probably will be a bit more quiet in the future.